Welcome back everyone to a new PS3 video and today we're going to be updating our PKGI application on our jailbroken PS3s and here is PKGI on my console and this one is version 1.22 and the new version that was released on January 23rd of this year is version 1.2.4 and it's going to be fairly easy to update our application. All we have to do is just download the PKG file, throw it onto a USB stick, connect our USB stick to our PS3s, and run through Package Manager and install the package files. So let's take a look at the new updates here through GitHub. Shout out to the developers that have been updating this. Bucanero. Who released this January 23rd, the author of this application. Thank you so much. And this is what has been added. So the explicit FTP over TLS support, increased database memory, limit to 32 megabytes, variable menu with auto adjusted to translated text with, and they fixed the progress bar that was not showing correct values when resuming a file, any proper screen aspect ratio, tiny 3D issue. And there's an updated app icon. Very nice. So the size is 1.61 megabytes. So just download this, copy it over to your USB stick, and you're all set. Let's go back on our PS3 and under Package Manager, go to the Install Package Files and go to the Standard folder. And we're going to be installing the package from the root of our USB stick. So here's the PKGI. Let's hit X and the installation is complete. So now there is the new icon for the PKGI. Looks awesome. Let's take a look at this application real quick. And there's no need for you to really go through the process of setting up PKGI again. All you have to do is just update the application and you're all set. There's no need to add more files or go through the back end of your PS3 to adjust the uh, lines that are needed to have this running correctly. So you can see that uh, PKGI at the top is version 1.2.4 and it looks good. Now, quick tip for those who want to have an updated database, what you want to do is add a couple of lines to your config.txt file. So let's go back to our desktop and here is the instructions for the online database update. You can refresh and sync an online database by adding the DB URLs to the config.txt file in the dev underscore HDD zero dash game uh, PKGI USR DIR. Uh, here's an example of what you will have to do. Uh, using the setup, uh, pkgi.txt will be updated with the mylist.csv, the demos, other lists, and emulators with the emulators.csv. So the next time you open the app, you'll have an additional menu option, a triangle called refresh. When you select it, the local databases will be synchronized with the defined URLs. So if you hit triangle, you'll see the refresh button at the bottom, and you can hit that. It'll start refreshing. The database and updating everything and you'll be good to go so there you have it guys that is a quick video on updating your pkgi application on your jailbroken ps3 if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos and streams coming soon here on the channel thanks again take care and we'll see you on the next one